Welcome back to the Algarve. A short video today just to give you an idea of how capable the little Honda Grom is off-road and to show you that there's a lot more to southern Portugal than beach bars and surfing. Now in my last video I was telling you about the new Triumph Speed Triple and how fabulous it is to have 180 horsepower between your thighs. So what possessed me to get this 125cc Honda Grom? Well, two reasons really. Um, at just 100 kilos it weighs half what a normal bike does and so it's much easier to load in and out of my van. And second, although I don't have much off-road experience, riding on this kind of rocky, gravelly surface is not intimidating at all. Anyone could do it, to be honest. If you feel you're beginning to lose your balance, you just have to put your feet down on the ground and hold the bike between your knees. Now, fair enough, the little 12-inch wheels do skip about a fair bit on these loose surfaces. But when you have scenery like this to take in, you don't want to be going fast anyway. I think I maxed out at probably 25, 30 kilometers an hour in third during this run, but who cares? I totally get why most proper off-road bikes are 400 cc or less, because what you nearly really need on tracks is lightness, not power. The Grom's 10 horsepower is more than enough, at least until you find yourself on a road going up a hill like this but you just have to take it steady and the Grom will bring you home. Now the only modification I've made to the bike is to fit some of these Maxxis M6024 all-terrain tyres. They really come into their own on these forest trails, providing good levels of grip and touch wood, a fair bit of puncture resistance. I rarely stray far from the van anyway, so in the event of a puncture with the bike being so light, I suppose I could push it back to base without too much difficulty. Now I'm far from an all-terrain expert, but the Grom's diminutive stature certainly gives me the confidence to slide around a bit on this gravel, which was something I didn't feel comfortable with at all when I tried it a couple of years ago on my Honda CB500X, although of course that was a much better road bike. I guess there's no such thing as a perfect all-rounder, which is why it's nice to have more than one bike at your disposal if you're in a position to do so. I wouldn't bring a Triumph Rocket up here any more than I would take the Grom on a trip around Europe. But in any case, that's about all I can say about my off-road exploits on this fun little bike today, so I'll just play out with some more views of the scenery. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>